Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up cameras to actually move independently without even having to worry about doing it yourself. Great for pre-shows, all this and more coming up next. So this is something I'm really excited about. A lot of people when they live stream start the pre-show a good hour, maybe half hour before the real live event. And that can be a time where you can get the message out that your live stream is going to happen on YouTube and Facebook. All of those automated messages happen. Give people time to get to that live stream and see that it's live before the live show. And a lot of people show a countdown timer. But what's really great that you can do today with just a couple pan tilt zoom cameras is you can automate the pan tilt zoom operations to be going every five or ten seconds to different areas in your venue and you can actually automate that whole process so I have a little video I want to show uh, it's, it's happening right now in front of us let me show you how we're gonna set this up with vmix so first of all we have to set up the IP control of each camera so each camera needs to be on your network with an IP address and what we do is we just put that IP address into uh, vMix and connect to the camera so that vMix can control the cameras. And what I'm going to do is create a couple different presets. And you can see it says create input at this position. So when you do that, you're creating a completely new input. And we're going to use those inputs to create a playlist of inputs, which will cycle through various different positions that we want to automate. So this is position two, and I'll have three positions per camera. And what we'll do is when we turn on the playlist setting in vMix, it will rotate automatically through each one of these positions at a time and transition that we select. So I'm just going to select one more position for this camera, and then I've got an, uh, I'm going to do three positions for the next camera. So once we have all of our positions set up, you can see we'll create one more. These are actually creating inputs inside of vMix. So I just created three inputs there. And let's just go ahead and connect to the IP address of the camera, which I have written down here, um, to the second camera. And you see that that will be done on the PTZ tab. You just select the PTZ Optics Visca UDP drop down. And again, we have full control of the cameras directly in vMix. And I'm just going to create two or three different um, presets here and if we can try to scroll to um, what, what what's basically ends up happening and you can actually see it happening right in front of me is that once all of these presets have been created we can use the playlist tool which is right here at the bottom of um, uh, vmix and you hit the cog tool so that's something I'll show in a moment here is that the cog tool at the bottom of vmix allows you to uh, this is vmix running and I have the playlist open here and I'll show that full screen in just a moment um, that once that playlist has been set up that's where we can go in and add all of these inputs and all of these inputs have preset positions, PTZ positions stored in them. So you're seeing here um, it actually working live there and you can see I have it set for every five seconds the cameras are going to move to a different location. But let's just go back to our our video here and um, the, the vMix setup. Yep, there it is. And that's my third position. So now this is the playlist tool. So in the playlist tool, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each of the preset positions that I've created. You can see it says PTZ at the beginning there. And I'm going to choose, since I have two cameras, I'm going to choose one from each camera. And so I've got all of my six positions. And then when I double click them, I can, you can go ahead and select the duration you want uh, to, to stay on that preset position and the transition. So whether you want it to fade or zoom or wipe to the next preset position. So I'm going to set each one of these for roughly two seconds and we'll do a fade and you can choose how long you want that fade to take and that's a little trick where you can actually have it be a long fade and that will actually make it so that the um, the transition will not actually show the panning and tilting and zooming so it's a very powerful tool we have a lot of control but just for ease of use we'll do a quick fade and a two second pan and all we have to do is set that on a loop and press start so as soon as I press start there 
and close this, you will see that the cameras are automatically basically cycling through those presets. And I, you know, I could have set this up a little better, but that's how it works. So it's a great opportunity to kind of automate the camera controls on a pre-show level. So that if you're streaming an hour early, you have some kind of exciting movement and information that's live camera video for your audience in the pre-show. Thank you so much for take, taking the time to watch this video. We have a blog post below that'll kind of walk you through all the steps, but I think we did a good job of explaining it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video, and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.